Let's get it cracking, YouTube. What's good, world? It's your boy, Mastermind Man, and this is another November 2022 weekday drop. Listen, man, before we jump into this hot show, be sure to follow your boy on YouTube, Mastermind RGTV, and at Twitch, Master23Mind, and RGTV, the classic shows, man. They're classics and the real gamer podcast on all podcast platforms, man. Listen, man. We put a bit in and, and hit y'all with some hotness, man. But we're going to be in and we're going to be out. You feel what I'm saying? I just had to come in here and drop something, man. Because I've been playing this God of War. And I've been playing this Call of Duty. Call of Duty Season 1 just dropped. Also with Warzone and uh, the new DMZ mode or whatnot. I'm going to say my thoughts on that because it's a separate podcast. We, we're working on that. God of War. It's been great. I'm going to say my thoughts on that. Because that's a separate podcast. Be sure to check out those two podcasts when they drop. Real Gamer. Listen, man. We got a lot of stuff we kind of want to talk about. But my, I got some stuff on my board here. And it was like some old stuff. Because I posted been in here and did a podcast. But I've been stuck on God of War for so long, man. And God of War is, is, is a really fun game. It's a really fun game. I'm actually feeling good to play it. As soon as I get out of here doing this. Talking to you guys. But uh, listen, man. It's pretty really fun game. But some stuff... They could have done better on. We not going to touch too far into it. I'm so tempted to. To get y'all an exclusive. But we are not. We are going to save it to the God of War podcast. But pretty dope. Uh, y'all definitely want to keep an eye. Because Black Friday is about to be be upon us. And by the time you hear this podcast. It's probably going to be hard to be there. But it's a lot of great games that's out man. We got um, the Need for Speed Unbound dropping uh, the 29th. That's going to be a really dope game. Uh, be on the lookout for next month, the Final Fantasy Reunion. Pretty dope game. I'm pretty excited about that one myself. Uh, the Sonic, the new Sonic just dropped. Uh, shout out to the Brother Hip Hop Gamer. I see him playing that. It looks pretty fun. Um, let me come back. Go back. That Sonic, this is the thing. It looks pretty fun. I want to see more, and I, I want to get hands on with it. But the thing is, when will we get the Sonic Adventures? Um, I think it was Sonic Adventures 3. Yeah. So for all the OGs in the room, man, if y'all go back to um, I, I got the game right over here. What's Sonic Sonic's Adventures 2? If y'all go back to Sonic Adventures 2, classic, classic one, the GameCube version, Dreamcast back then, Sonic Adventures 2. When you beat that game, they basically have like a cliffhanger at the end of the game if you go look at the cut we got youtube now back then we have youtube and all that but if you go and look at the cut scenes and everything they show that it's going to be another sonic or whatnot coming out because of the things that's happening at the end of the game and yo i'm still excited about that i went back time i went back uh, a couple months ago to place uh sonic adventures 2 look at the ending bruh when we gonna get the third one I don't know what happened to the team, the original team or whatever, that these guys did that. But, yo, I think if we can get Sonic Adventures 3, that same story that they was telling, because like I said, it's like a cliffhanger. Yo, I think that Sonic will really do numbers. I really do. And this new Sonic, that's why I asked, so I asked the homie and I was like, yo, which one uh, which Sonic game does this play like? Like, do it play like Sonic Adventures 1 and 2? Or do it play like um, the other one, Sonic Rings? Uh, that was another one that was pretty fun on um, on the Wii or whatnot. Um, it's a bunch of different Sonic games that had, like, different, like, play styles. And, um, like, the combat system, the story mode was kind of... Of course, the story mode is different on all of them, but just different graphical layouts and everything about sonic y'all know how sonic is man like which sonic game does this new one play like and if it plays anything like sonic adventures 2 that's good but i really do think if so if this one plays like sonic adventures 3 they can uh pave the way for a sonic adventures 3 to actually happen that's just my hopes but i think that'll really do well um I'm going on to the other stuff I wanted to talk about. Uh, like I said, Call of Duty Season 1 drop. Man, listen, I, I wasn't really a big fan of the Warzone in the first place. Uh, Warzone 2.0, yo, I got killed on it. I'm not too good at it. I'm not going to lie to y'all. But third person in the Warzone space. 
that's interesting. I start playing a little bit of that. I lost. Um, <laughs> yeah, go follow me on YouTube. Y'all see me, man. Everything I play, I record. So um, I'm not too fond of it, but I'm intrigued that they got a third person point of view on Warzone. So I'll be playing a little bit more of that. I'm not going. I'm not going to knock it just yet, but I'm not too much of a fan of Warzone or whatnot of the whole battle royale. And but if you give me a squad that we go in, you feel me? That's a different story. I've always came from the position of not having people ready to play or not having a good squad. And you know what I'm saying? So give me a good squad. Then it, my opinion will change. But hopefully we'll, you know what I'm saying? Prodigy, let's get it cracking. You know what I'm talking about? Um, moving on, talking about this Assassin Creed. Yo, I got. To, let me elaborate a little bit on Assassin Creed. So the Assassin Creed, Van Halen, they got a final chapter coming out or whatever. And the uh, post-launch support will be ending next month now i want to i want to get some feedback about it i want to have a, a a general conversation about this with all the assassin creed shout out to the homie q uh about the assassin creed lifespan have they done a great job with this assassin creed like keeping it up to date releasing all of the you know uh dlcs and different things of that order um you know like they did with odyssey or whatnot so, you know, the next Assassin's because remember, we got so many different, we got like four or five Assassin's Creed's Finnegrade to drop, you know what I'm saying, um, in, the, in the coming years or so. And, you know, hey, shh, Odyssey's still my favorite. Odyssey's still my favorite. That's why I wanted to kind of, you know, speak on this a little bit because, yo, the support we got for Odyssey was really good you know what i'm saying and for them to say the post launch uh support pretty much ending next month i'm like wait a minute odyssey support uh support lunch lasted a little bit longer than this felt feel like you know what i'm saying um the dlcs was a little bit more you know what i'm saying hey i'm looking at it i don't have it but i remember to go and get it type deal this one oh the dlc out uh, okay, I'll, I'll come back to it. You forget about it. And one thing that kind of pissed me off with this one. So, peep game. I got the season pass with Van Hella. And it didn't come with, I think it was the Ragnarok. Uh, the Ragnarok version or whatnot. This, it didn't come with the season pass. I was a little stumped by that. And I really don't quite understand it. Because on odyssey i got the whole shebang you know what i'm saying the the atlantis and everything that was the season pass i got everything with that but with the van Hella, you get the season pass some of the stuff still didn't even come with the season pass so you know what i'm saying i don't know what's up with that you know so i'm saying all this to say i'm hoping that the next assassin creed release keeps post launch support for longer make the dlcs enticing and very um excited for us to want to go and get remind us this is why you need to go and get this dlc i feel like a lot of the dlcs for van he for van hella <clears throat> didn't really uh do that but odyssey did that's just my opinion but i'm saying all that to say i hope that i hope success for the next assassin creed to be even bigger and better uh, than Odyssey and Vanilla. So, you know, I'm pumped for it because we got a lot of Assassin's Creed. Remember the cold red? They're now talking about going to Japan and Tokyo, different things like that. So, hey, I'm excited for it, man. I just, you know, it's just something I wanted to speak on. Like, oh, no, final chapter. Post launch is about to, oh, man. Oh, well, cool. It was good to play. I probably loaded up, um, probably, you know, on holidays coming about, probably loaded up and see because they usually be having like, when the holidays come, you can do something in the game, different holiday updates or whatnot. I may load it up to see what uh, different updates they got. See how it's cracking up and playing. Man, I got to talk about this. We finna, hey, call Nintendo execs up. Get the execs on the phone. Tell them let's talk. Look, we finna talk about this Pokemon Scarlet and, and Violet. This bugs. Listen, man. Um, follow me on Twitter. That's 23 Mind. I be retweeting a lot of funny stuff. And, hey, man, I'm, I'm human. I like a funny. I like a lot of funny stuff, too. Like, like yo. Let's talk about the Pokemon. Boy, I laughed at that when I seen it. But at the same time, it was like, I told you. Bruh, 
So we finna go into a Nintendo rap for a quick little minute. Yeah, those that know, those that know, that don't know, listen, man. I love Nintendo, but I got a lot of dislike for you at the same time. I gotta go in on you, man. I go in heavy on Nintendo, but y'all see it on the hat. You feel what I'm saying? So it ain't no, it ain't no, it ain't no hate. Uh, you know, it's love, man. It's all love. I'm a really big gamer, so listen, man. I love Nintendo, Xbox, PlayStation. I love them all, but I gotta go in and talk to y'all, Nintendo. What the hell was y'all thinking? Releasing that game. This game has brought so much embarrassment on the Pokemon brand and the Nintendo brand itself. Why would you release a game that's not nowhere near ready? Yo, this game runs like shit on the Switch. I told y'all podcasts before. I'm talking about 20. We 2022. We've been podcasting for quite some time. So I've been telling y'all since 2018, 2019. Bruh, if y'all don't get another Switch console we need a new console nintendo you can't continue to bring if that game runs like shit imagine how legend of zelda is gonna run folks boy we don't get it right well if we don't get an i'm promise y'all mark my word bro if we don't get another nintendo switch by next year something announcements 2023 first quarter of 2023 y'all need to be making announcements here's a new nintendo console this game awards the Game Awards is finna get ready to come up December the 8th. Nintendo need to be making a world exclusive premiere of we're working on a new console. Here's a preview. You need to give us something. This Switch, Switch Pro, Switch Lite, we don't want none of that BS no more. Because this new Pokemon was supposed to be the one. You feel what I'm saying? All of the Pokemons, the homie is calling me back to back and live on the show. All of the Pokemons is, you know what I'm saying, fire. But with this one, was like, I right, yo, I remember them showing some, oh, bet, yeah, this is the one, like, yo, that one. And it's another one that's supposed to drop 23. Bro, don't drop that on no Switch. And for this one to go through all of them bugs and all them problems, bro, I was like, oh, my God, what are y'all doing, bro? We need a new Switch ASAP. You feel what I'm saying? That's like that's like trying to, even though, I'm going to give you an example, even though PlayStation can kind of get away with it because their hardware is more powerful. I was going to say, that's kind of like running the new God of War on PS4. Well, if you run, it, it, it's available for PS4. But if you run God of War, the new God of War on the PS4, boy, it's going to run like a jet. It's going gonna, it's gonna to use up all of the resources, run like a jet. It's going to be really loud. Probably like my computer is right now a little bit. <laughs> but it's going to be really loud. Nintendo can't do that because the hardware that's in this Switch is boo-boo. It's trash. We're talking about six, seven years old technology, yo. And y'all know how fast technology moves. Well, we're in a console war, man, and usually around six years. Yo, this is finna be cut in half. PlayStation 5 is already talking about making the PlayStation 5 uh, Switch. I mean, a PlayStation 5 uh, Slim. I'm sorry. Yeah, a Slim. Slim PS5 will be coming. I say in 2023, uh, maybe. Beginning 2024, maybe. Uh, but if we don't get, um, you know, the whole global shipping and, and chip issues down, hey, a lot of this stuff might not even come out until... 2025 honestly you know what i'm saying so but nintendo i don't know what to say man because i don't want to say listen man it's so many great games nintendo is finna get we, we coming up on a new legend of zelda we coming up we just dropped they just dropped the new pokemon scarlet and violet we got another new pokemon that's finna get ready to drop in 23 um and along with that, 23, you're going to really see the power of the PS5. And Xbox has got a lot of amazing things going to happen in 23. With that being said, Nintendo, again, Nintendo got the characters. They got the uh, catalogs, meaning stories and characters and history. They got all of this stuff. But if if they don't begin to update their hardware and to stay in their, in their run, Bro, Nintendo, bro, you're going to have some diehard fans still out there. But what just happened with this Pokemon Scarlet and Violet is an embarrassment, bro. And 
they need to come out ASAP and say, look, we got some new, we got some new hardware. We got a new update that's coming out for this Pokemon um, to fix a lot of this stuff. And for those that, you know, bought the game and still not satisfied or whatever, whatever, the new console, when it drop, you'll uh, be able to upgrade it to the new console for free, whatever. You need to come out and do a press release about something because you don't do this to a Pokemon game. This is one of your bread and butters. You don't do this to a Pokemon game. That's like dropping a Mario and Mario is like playing. Can you imagine Mario bugging out like, like this new Pokemon? Can you imagine Legend of Zelda bugging out like this new Pokemon? Well, that may just happen. This new Legend of Zelda we about to get ready to uh, get ready to uh, have in 23. If we don't get a new console, it's going to happen. Nintendo, we need a new console. Moving on, man. I don't want to, I don't want to, I'm holding some of my words back. <laughs> it's later in the night, man, but we need a new Nintendo console, man, and I just don't want to see Nintendo get swept over and forgot about because they never updated their hardware. 2024, they're finally coming out with a new Nintendo Switch. No, nah, man, don't do that, man, don't do that. We need to hear something by 23, you know what I'm saying? Although, that's my mad side, but my optimistic gaming perspective Listen, man, Nintendo going to probably shock us. They're going to probably give us something very innovative. Uh, VR, AR tech, uh, still on the go, but some type of way of um, a hardware console box to where you can still play your Switch games. Um, and now you're playing your Switch games. The performance and everything is looking better, running better. Uh, the graphics on Nintendo, they're now stepping into... A, a graphical adult type looking games you know what i'm saying uh that's my optimistic for nintendo new console you know what i'm saying and and they're they they're they, they're getting back in the game to play that's my optimistic for it and you know i really hope they do something but i do think whatever they drop next is going to be very innovative and it's going to um set the path for um, the next generation to come PlayStation 6 uh, PS5 Slim maybe Xbox and, th and that's even if we have I do think we're going to probably stop at 7 probably 7 uh, but but that's even if we do take it to a console structure because you got to remember you got cloud gaming still dominating the market and will continue to dominate the market mobile gaming dominating the market and will continue to dominate the market so the whole console coming into play oh pc you can never forget pc pc will ain't going nowhere pc will continue to dominate the market and continue to do their thing but console is going to get to a point it's going to be two things console ain't completely up everything's cloud pc mobile uh console still thriving and striving by uh still being the leaders of the pack uh, with innovation technology and what's making it different from cloud mobile PC. If console is able to do something like that, yo, console may still be around for years to come or whatnot. But I'm 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 pretty optimistic for Nintendo and what they're gonna do and what they're capable of. I do believe that innovative um, ways would be the way they need to go. And the way they will continue to go. Um, moving on, man, because y'all got to fix that. Uh, moving on, man. Unreal Engine. Check this. Unreal Engine 5.1 update is now out. For all the game developers, yo. Check that out, bro. Nintendo, what are you doing? Get these guys on the phone. Call up AMD. Let's have a meet. You feel what I'm saying? Psh, easy. Easy, yo, they man. I'm pretty sure they got AMD on on speed dial. Like, hey, bro, we uh, how that new console chip looking? Uh, we got some innovative things we need. We need to make sure that that chip that's gonna power our next console uh, is it ready? You know, we need to know that. Hey, can we get it across to our millions of people? Now, Nintendo do listen to their people. 
I, I will respect, we got to respect that and say that Nintendo listened to their gamers because, you know, a lot of the Animal Crossing and things people wanted, hey, and they gave it to them, you know, hey, Nintendo do listen. So, hey, man, Nintendo got hey, AMD on the phone, hey, bro, let's give us some chips and what they talking about, you know what I'm saying? Hey, call AMD up, get with Unreal Engine, man, and give us a Legend of Zelda running on Unreal Engine 5.1, give us a Mario running on Unreal Engine 5.1, give us a new Kirby game running, give us a new Pokemon game running on Unreal Engine 5.1. Point one, stop playing with me, Nintendo. Y'all got the catalog, the characters, and the history. You need to call these boys up and start making these shots, man. Y'all, get, hey, Nintendo need to get back in the game. They need to get back in the game, man. I'm, I'm, I'm angry, but I'm, I'm hype at the same time because if they do that, oh boy, oh boy, PlayStation, what you gonna do, <laughs> man? Listen, man, Dead Island Two got pushed back, man. Yo. So, I had Dead Island 1. I was a really big fan of Dead Island. And when I seen the commercial of Dead Island 2, like, when they showed it, I was like, oh, man, this is looking all right. This is looking all right. I talked about it on a couple podcasts before. When I seen it, I was like, all right, let's go. They pushed it back. It's getting pushed back to, to next year. I, I think they said April. I didn't write it down on the board. April of next year, I think. But um, it's cool. It's cool. Y'all know how I feel. It's cool. Because if it's any type of bugs or any issues in the game, hey man, y'all get done working on that. Take your time. Don't don't drop no game that ain't ready. Cyberpunk twenty seventy-seven. They messed up. You know what I'm saying? Battlefield, they messed up. This new Pokemon, they messed up. Take your time. You know what I'm saying? Speaking of Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven, they got a pay for a DLC dropping with Cyberpunk. Now listen, for all the Cyberpunk fans out there, it may be worth it. It may be worth it. But out my personal opinion, I would probably wait somebody else by, it, watch them scream it or play it and see how it's running before making that purchase. Because Cyberpunk 27, when it, man, when it dropped, it was horrible. It was horrible. So it's worth it, but I'll probably wait. It looked bad. And I was like, oh, hmm, pay DLC, you know what I'm saying? Cyberpunk, they. They, 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 the game's pretty fun. I played it. Got my hands on it. Graphics were really dope. You know what I'm saying? I still don't like the first person too too much. But it is a pretty fun game. I can see, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. People playing DLC. Especially if it drops. No bugs. No issues. And this is the excitement and enthusiasm. Just, I'm excited about it. You know what I'm saying? We had... When we first heard about Cyberpunk 2077, you know what I'm saying? I feel like the DLC is going to bring that energy back to the game. So if it does, hey, it's worth it, but I'll probably wait. Uh, moving on, talking about this Bioshock, man. We're getting a Bioshock movie, man. Listen, man. Games is finna take over. We got, we, we, lo, yo, we got, uh, we had an Uncharted movie. We getting a Last of Us TV show. We getting, um, um horizon um we got mario call of duty even talking about dropping some final fantasy been doing their thing but can you imagine final fantasy in the, on like the well no they, they was on big screen too um we get a lot of we got the witchers we get a lot of games coming to movies and tv shows for that put a big smile on my face man because listen man you know, back in the day, you know, it was always, um, you know, the, the, these people have to, you know, we we have to come to them. Now they got to come to us. They got to come to us. You know what I'm saying? We got the shows. We got the movies. We got the games. You really want to know how the story is? Play the game and the movie. Oh, and it's successful now. Now, back in the day, you know what I'm saying? Games, moving the TV shows, the movies weren't so successful. But now, boy, we doing a hell of a good job, man. So Bioshock, hey, he's coming to Netflix, man, and Netflix gave them all all hands. Hey, make it how you want to make it, all free of hands. Make it how you want to make it. You want to make it like the game? Make it like the game. Oh, you shouldn't have told them that. They finna get busy, boy. And we, so we finna get a new Bioshock movie coming to Netflix, man. And hey, yo, I think they should make a TV show. I like TV shows better because you get season one, two. Like, you know what I'm saying? You get to take your time and... Is especially shows to be like an hour, fifty minutes into it. Those like individual movies to me. You know what I'm saying? I feel like for the games, the experience that we got on the game. Hey man, break that thing down to them and give them that dialogue. You know what I'm saying? Break down into seasons or whatnot. We'll take that, Scotty. You know what I'm saying? Especially yo, 
this um horizon boy horizon got enough dialogue in the game side quests to give you at least three seasons on the tv show forbidden west what we found out on forbidden west can you imagine seeing that on tv Man, let's go it's three seasons let's go last of us when the last of us dropped on hbo i'm telling y'all it's gonna be successful we're gonna probably get three seasons of it and if they do it right, I talked about this on the last episode of the podcast. If they do it right, they would probably announce, especially if it's like really successful, they would probably announce, hey, Last of Us 3 or whatever. Probably not, but it's just my hopes. Last of, A new Last of Us game premiering or a trailer of it at the new season 3 of Last of Us on the TV show. Can you imagine that? Oh, man, that'll be dope. That'd be real dope. You know what I'm saying? We got a uh, Hitman been doing his thing or whatnot, but uh, we got a lot of games that's going to movies and TV shows, man. And I'm excited to hear about that. I know I said I'm going to get in and get out of here, man. That's really all I got on my board I really wanted to talk about. A lot of the stuff I wanted to really elaborate and break down to is the Call of Duty and the God of War. Two separate podcasts. You got to stay tuned for more of that, man. But we're going to be back in here, man, because we got Black Friday finna drop. PlayStation got a uh, sale going on too, so y'all looking for some good games, some some good stuff, goody goodies, goody goods to purchase uh, Black Friday, man. Check out the PlayStation Show, man. I mean, PlayStation uh, Store. They got a lot of stuff on sale. Yeah, twenty five percent off thing for Black Friday, whatnot. Mm, yeah, but uh, you know, especially we got the digital version. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Check all the sales. God of War. Uh, we got a God of War PS5 bundling. That's what I'm talking about. Remember I talked about bundling on the uh, previous episodes, how Nintendo, you know what I'm saying, good at bundling and other stuff, and how uh, PlayStation, they bundle every now and then, but we need more bundles. We need more bundles. So we got a God of War PS5 bundle that's out there in the wild, you know what I'm saying? These a couple good things to pick up for Black Friday or for the holidays or whatnot, but God of War is definitely a game you want to pick up. I would recommend uh, if, you, if you see it, Forbidden West, hey, get it, man. Forbidden West, God of War, um, Last of Us remake. Um, those are the top three games. I was I would recommend get for the PlayStation Five for this holiday because those are three games that you can really get immersed in and really get a experience of the PlayStation Five. Those three games. Like, if I would say my top five, give me a little more time because there's a lot of great games. But top three, oh, yeah, it's easy. God of War, Forbidden West, Last of Us remake for the PS5, hands down. You know what I'm saying? So keep that in mind for all the PlayStation heads out there, man. We here, we there, we everywhere. Be sure to follow me. Follow your boy, Mastermind RGTV. Sometimes I'll be speaking in third and second person, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Mastermind RGTV and Twitch will be going live playing some God of War and some uh, Call of Duty. At Master Twenty Three Mind, we here, we there, we everywhere, baby. Real gamer on all podcast platforms. Stay tuned for more November uh, weekday drops. We out here, baby. Love is love. Peace. Game on, y'all. Yo, YouTube. Ooh, we gonna get them exclusive. Stay tuned for the God of War Four podcast review. Man, I got a lot to say. <laughs>